Groudon tanks the close combat, we see the pivot into Yveltal. Yveltal might think it's the premium dark flying type in the Master League. Well, meet Galarian Moltres. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a very rare upload in the Open Master League. I specialise in triple shadow teams and spice. And Master League is a place where you pretty much don't see either of these. The best Pokemon Go PvP player in the world, Yasa, said there's only around 9 viable Pokemon. Ironically, we're using two of these in Groudon and Zacian. Well, Yasa, you're going to have to make that list to 10 Pokemon, because today we're going to see a 5-0 sweep at Expert rank with the 123rd rank pick, Galarian Moltres. Huge shout out to Kareem for the battle submission. As always, a hugely talented battler. He's already legend. He's trying to have fun. And not only is he having fun, he is slaying the basic bitch meta. Without any further ado, let's get into the battles. And in game one, this opponent probably thinks they're a victim of the algorithm they led. Giratina Origin into our Galarian Moltres. We absolutely wore all of that energy they save switch into Zacian. We answer with Groudon. Groudon landed the Prespa's Blades. It landed for huge damage. Kareem shielded up the second close combat he farmed down. Groudon with energy is absolutely lethal. This double legacy Groudon is an absolute menace. The damage output of this thing is absolutely ridiculous. We landed one Precipice Blade on the Zacian and we managed to mud shot down. We've then landed a Precipice Blade on this Giratina and it's already deep in the yellow. The opponent has shield advantage. However, I've got no idea what they're planning to do against this Moltres. They're going to need to be on Dragon Balls to do any meaningful damage. The opponent makes a Savage Catch, catching the Ancient Power onto Excadrill. However, it looks like RPS for the win, baby. As this Excadrill will quickly be getting rid of them shields. With our quick attack, Nuke Zacian. Kareem going straight for the close combat. Does the opponent look to call a bait? They actually correctly shield up a close combat, but don't worry. There's plenty more of where that came from. The second close combat gets all shields down. Zacian has done its job, Kareem. Looking to close this battle out with the featured Pokemon, Galarian Moltres. We come in, fire off the payback. We lose CMP. Is payback going to be enough? To knock out this little mole, let's find out. Payback, a pretty good move. However, this is the open Master League. We don't quite knock out. One more wing attack takes care of the mole. Back out comes Giratina. I don't even think Dragon Pulse is going to save this opponent. They actually fire off the Shadow Ball. It does absolutely nothing. Kareem makes the Ancient Power and that is going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. It looks like the opponent has forced closed the app. You can tell by the amount of lag. But either way, we're off to a very nice 1-0 start. Moving on to the next battle. We lead Galarian Moltres into Zacian. Not the best matchup. We see the pivot into our own Zacian. Both trainers farming up a boatload of energy, not wanting to throw first. Kareem at the back-to-back -back fires off the wild charge. Wild charge draws a shield. Then we win charge move priority. Again, Zacian putting in a whole heap of work. Kareem lands some huge damage and gets himself shield advantage. He knows shields. He allows Zacian to go down. Kareem's got himself shield advantage. He waits out his full timer as he will still be temporarily switched locked. He sends out Groudon as the damage sponge. The opponent throws the close combat and pivot out into Yveltal. Yveltal might think it's the premium dark flying type. However, we answer with Moltres. We're able to hit for super effective with the ancient power. He then puts up a shield respecting a potential focus blast and my god is the opponent not bait and they full send it. Kareem continuing to throw at good time in two turn versus three turn you want to throw at one four or seven. This is why Kareem's already legend. Speaking of legend plays Kareem knew that was only a dark pulse. So there was no need to shield the opponent's got BDD in the back. A lot of you like to call it big daddy Dialga. I like to call it basic bitch Dialga. We pivot out into ground on banking all the energy back out comes Zacian. We land the Prespus Blade. Zacian gets absolutely wrecked right back out comes Dialga. This is now the bait game. Kareem firing off the fire punch. Does the opponent take the bait? Yes, they do. We're going to now throw the next fire punch. This will hopefully put this basic bitch tin can into payback range. We've got the payback locked and loaded, but is payback going to be enough to secure the knockout? Who was worried? Galarian Moltres says, I'm a Diago counter. Get that tin can out of here. Moving on to the next one. Great lead. Galarian Moltres into Mewtwo. The opponent retreats into Reshiram and here comes Groudon. Type and advantage is with us. However, Dragon Breath, really oppressive and starting to add up. Kareem shields up the crunch. We lost charge move priority and he again full sends the Precipice Blades. The opponent completely sacks Reshiram. 
My God, does this Groudon hit hard. Kareem did shield in the mid game, ensuring that the opponent wasn't able to two shield, taking back switch. And I really like that play as it does maintain this really positive opening matchup. Despite being down a shield, unless this opponent's on a spicy move set like Ice Beam, we're gonna wall this completely. The opponent's actually running double legacy, and my god, I think that actually healed us. We return fire with the payback, payback one shots. And this opponent's got a really, really spicy pick in the back. My god, I wasn't expecting that. Just kidding. Of course, they've got basic bitch Dialga. The opponent doesn't shield the close combat, and I think now it's just gonna be a fast move beatdown. To the finish, Kareem shields up the Iron Head. You can see he's not going to throw another charge move. Looking to get all the fast move damage in. He can get. The opponent takes us out with an Iron Head. And Kareem says save them shields for next season. GG's and thanks for playing. 3-0 in the set. Heading into battle number 4. We lead Galarian Moltres into Landorus. We definitely don't fancy tanking a Stone Edge. So we see their pivot into Zacian. Zacian instead going to tank the Stone Edge and it's still going to do quite a lot of damage. It does over 50% of our HP. The opponent continues to stay in. So Kareem going to return fire with the single resisted wild charge. We draw a shield. Kareem this time opt in for the close combat. Also single resisted. Both wild charge and close combat are actually clones of each other. One's fighting, one's electric. They're both single resisted. So they're both going to do exactly the same amount of damage. 30.9% if you're actually one of them geeks that wants to know. The opponent aggressively switched out, sending out Reshiram into our Groudon. And my god, Groudon is about to feast. The opponent correctly shielded up a Precipice Blades. We're going to invest the Protect Shield on the Fusion Flare. However, Groudon will be absolutely one-shotting this Reshiram. Hi Reshiram, bye Reshiram. Get absolutely wrecked. Let's see what the opponent's got in the back. The opponent's got Yavel, so again, we're going to see the battle of the Dark Flyers. The opponent builds up to a Focus Blast. Kareem looking to call a bait. The opponent full sends the Focus Blast. And despite our small CP, we tank that really well. Moltres looking for the boost with the Ancient Power. The opponent actually made a Savage Catch, catching onto Landorus. However, there's plenty more of where that come from. We fire the second Ancient Power back out. Comes Yavel, so we lose CMP. Kareem going to invest his final protect shield here. Dark Pulse would be lethal despite being resisted. We're throwing the third Ancient Power. Do we see a boost? No, we don't. However, stay in school, kids. Learn to count. Kareem returns the favour for that savage catch. Dark Pulse takes us out. We come back into Moltres. We're one wing attack away from the next Ancient Power. And Moltres again provides proof of who the best Dark Flying type is in the Open Master League. 4-0. Heading into battle number 5. Dragonite going to be pretty oppressive with the Dragon Breath. So we see the pivot into Zacian and we're hard punished with Metagross. Metagross farms up, wins, charge move priority. Kareem going to invest the Protect Shield on the Meteor Mash and return fire with the neutral close combats. Close combat number one does land Kareem looking to farm up to the back to back again. We lose CMP Kareem now, all shields down. Meteor Mash draws our final Protect Shield and Kareem. Looking to force some shields off the opponent. The opponent gives up switch. Back out comes Dragonite. And we've got a wild charge bank. Wild charge goes unshielded. Kareem down two shields. This looks tricky. However, saving grace is the wild charge chip damage. Chip, but it's pretty close to ancient power range. And if you see Dragonite in the lead with a Metagross say switch. I'm almost certain they're going to have double steel. And Groudon doesn't need shields to handle the potential Excadrill we've got in the back. We call Excadrill and just like that, the opponent is running a really easy team to call. Kareem recognising that despite being down shields, he has the exact alignment that he wants. Excadrill going to be in a whole heap of trouble. The opponent calls the Fire Punch, but that definitely isn't going to save him. Groudon now can Mudshot farm all the way down. Dragonite is so, so low, they're going to have to respect the double resisted Presbus Blades. Presbus Blades does draw the final protection and the opponent throws on CMP. No trainer. Dragon Claw takes us out. We've got the Angel Power locked and loaded. And that's going to be all she wrote. A perfect 5 0 sweep with Galarian Moltres in the Open Master League. Absolutely incredible, Spice Kareem. And you're going to see here, he's now back around 2800 ELO. We've got a few more bonus battles. Heading into bonus battle number one. Galarian Moltres into Kyogre. Unfortunately, we're just far, far out by the bulky blue whale. Kareem farms up. 
always throwing at perfect fast move time and payback actually a lot of damage to this bulky whale. The opponent continuing to farm up Sir Kareem, throws the Ancient Power, actually drawing a shield from a really poor matchup. The opponent banks all of that energy and then make a really nice catch of the Ancient Power on BDD. However, high tin can meet Groudon. Kareem up shields. Are we going to see a shield invested here? We are not. Ironhead does some solid chip damage. Groudon now deep in the red and Kareem goes straight for the Presbus Blades. Presbus Blades does one shot if Kyogre does return. They're going to need to throw energy. We'll make one more charge move back out. Comes Kyogre. The deep in the red is Fire Punch enough to secure the knockout. We'll never find out as the opponent is now all shields down. Kareem sends out Zacian and we need to start shielding up something. The opponent fires off the Surf, then pivot out into Zekrom. Unfortunately, we don't have play rough. However, two close combats are going to hit for some heavy neutral damage. The first one does almost 50% of the HP and Kareem like an absolute savage. Catching the charge move onto Zacian, saving his protect shield. For all of that energy that the Kyogre has, we farm up again to the back-to-back -back close combat. Takes them out. We hit the charge move. We've still got one protection. We shield up the surf. We fire off the wild charge and Kareem wins a very impressive battle. Very well played. And this is why Kareem was one of the first players in the world hit legend this season as he is a top tier battler. Moving on to the next battle. Kareem must have left this in just for my entertainment as I don't really know what to say. The opponent just decided that matchup wasn't for them. So we're just going to move swiftly on. Galarian Moltres might be ranked pretty low, but it's pretty good at RPS in a lot of Pokemon. Much like this battle, Moltres into Groudon, a great matchup. We obviously operate pretty similarly to Yveltal. We're a really good wall to Giratina, Mewtwo, and of course, the top dog, Groudon. If you're wondering why I say top dog, look at this damage. This is a double resisted move, and this Dragonite is already into the yellow. Dragonite is absolutely loaded, however, no amount of energy is really going to help him as most Dragonite run Dragon Claw and Superanization walls, absolutely all of that. We get a Protect Shield back with the Close Combat and we send back out our Flying Dark type and just look at this pitiful damage of the Fire Punches. Kareem now returns fire with the Payback and Payback lands for some heavy neutral damage. The opponent continuing to stay in, they fire off yet another Fire Punch and Moltres. Flapping away, saying, is that all you've got? Kareem now fires off the Ancient Power. Fishing for the boost. He draws a Protect Shield. The opponent looks to snipe with Dragonite Kareem. Going to allow his Moltres to go down. We actually show really good bulk. Dragon Claw doesn't take us out. Perhaps the opponent undercharged that. Zacian is now going to have to Quick Attack farm this Dragonite all the way down. Unless, of course, they've got Hurricane. Evidently, they do not. They fire off the Super Power and they gracefully concede. Heading into the next battle. This is actually a battle with Solgaleo. Solgaleo, unlike Moltres, ranked really high. I think it's ranked fourth, but it's pretty hard to get. Unless, of course, you are a marathon runner. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm sure I know what you mean. Or a raid whale. You can actually get XL rare candy from GBL. However, on a grand total of zero. You hate to see it. We led Moltres into Reshiram. Two better responses. In the back, we save switch into Zacian. The opponent stays in. They then switch out into Lugia. We're absolutely loaded. We land two wild charges. The second on a CMP tie. Zacian putting in a whole heap of work. We can now send out Moltres. Commit to the wing attack farm down. Both trainers still with two shields apiece. However, that Reshiram took a lot of neutral damage. The opponent's final Pokemon is their own Zacian. And we finally get to take a look at Solgaleo. The opponent full sends the close combat. I imagine they're going to look to make a catch. The opponent makes no such attempt. We fire off the Psychic Fangs. The opponent lets it go. The opponent now does send back out Reshiram. We're going to need to respect the Fusion Flare as we are a Steel type. We are resisting the Dragon Breaths and Kareem is loaded. We fire off the first Psychic Fangs. The opponent shields the first. The second is going to now do more damage as Psychic Fangs does lower their defense. The opponent lets go of the second. We snipe with a wing attack. We've got the Ancient Power locked and loaded. The opponent really needs to shield this up. They don't shield. Holy smokes, they're in danger of getting quick move beat down. Can we survive a Wild Charge? Wild Charge doesn't one-shot Moltres, you absolute monster. The opponent forced to throw again. We can now send out Solgaleo and one Fire Spin is going to be enough to take that game.
So those were the battles with Galarian Moltres in the Open Master League. A Pokemon I didn't expect to see, but I've got to say I was pretty impressed with. Huge shout out to Kareem for the battle submission. If you'd like your battles featured on my channel, link to my battle submission form is down below. If you're enjoying the content, smash that like button if you're new. Consider subscribing. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.